Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight bout between Tom Aspinall versus Marcin Tybora. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going lock confidence um, Tom Aspinall to beat Marcin Tybora. And yeah, I think um, I really don't see no real path to victory for Tybora. Unless he's hoping um, Aspinall is a shell of himself coming with an injury and knee still ain't good or his knee still ain't good and hoping to maybe go for a weak takedown and hurtly hurt and jerk and his knee gives out on him, something like that. But yeah, I don't really see no path. I think overall, I think Aspinall is clearly the better grappler. Overall, I think Aspinall is clearly the better striker. And I think overall, Aspinall is clearly the better fighter. So overall, yeah, this cop out here playing musical chairs. Like, whoop, whoop. Like, go where you got to go, cop. You're messing up my video. But I edited in. I'm not editing this video. So I try to stop it at times. But yeah, no. Still somehow in the video. But yeah. Overall, they ain't really no, I don't see no path to victory for Tybor. Well, in my opinion. Like, there's obviously some paths, but no paths I really put much care into for Tybor. Like, hey, maybe he's been active. He has better cardio. Take Aspinall off beyond the first couple rounds. And Aspinall is a guy that got terrible cardio. Everybody got to punch a chance. The injury. Maybe Tybor is able to get a takedown. And then on top of him, he wears down. Aspinall wears down his confidence. Maybe. But I don't think he'll have the success for the takedowns. And I think we're relying on a punch of chance or an injury. is not really, for me, in this matchup, that I don't feel is actually even close is nothing I could even lean to or respect in my opinion. So, yeah, Tabor, best thing about my feet is his kick. Like, he get those kick legs up real well, but when the last time he really head kicked anyone? Like, he get those legs up real, but I think everybody already know about him. He get those little weak little shots out there, nothing really notable power. Everybody got power heavyweight, but he get those little shots in there, but nothing really noteworthy or threatening on the feet outside the head kick, which everybody has a beat on now. He can throw them up sometimes. Maybe he could adjust that and go to the leg. That'd be a smart approach, but still nothing I'm really respecting this one. On the feet, um, Aspinall got much sharper hands, much heavier hands, and he could do it so effortlessly. He got much cleaner boxing. And again, that comes from the boxing he, that he had. Like, uh, those little side little jab. I'm, I'm doing up cussing hooks. <laughs> it's not even a jab. That's a jab. <laughs> yeah. Nice little jumping hooks. Nice body work. Probably, the matter of fact, I would say right now, probably the best boxing actively in the heavyweight division. I would say that by far actively boxing in, in the heavyweight division in MMA or in the UFC. I don't know about other leagues right now. There's definitely be probably some random boxer that's trying it out. But as far as in the UFC, what I've seen actively right now, not past tense right now, what's in there, by far the best boxer. Now, I think he'll showcase that in this one. I think he'll be able to stuff the takedowns of Tybor and it should be able to land knees in the clinch, elbows, and then that. You no know, boxing range should be able to mix him up on feet and just dominate him and get him out of there first round. I think he'll come back, make a statement performance, and get Ty Bora out of there. Matter of fact, I might say second round, but I'm gonna stick with first round. I'm gonna stick with first round. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shift to second round. You no, know, he, he's had some time off. He's been injured, so it's gonna be a little bit of a filling out process. But that second round, he, he'll definitely get him out of there. So I'm gonna say second round, fill out first round, but still teeing off him in the first round. Ty Bora is able to escape narrowly just by maybe holding on desperately for like a clinch or something. That's gonna give him some, you know, some breathing room. But in the second round, um, um, Aspinall's already gonna have the ranges down. So when, uh, when they start to try to fall over into the clinch or start to lean over, try to time his entries or try to time his shots to create a clinch, um, Aspinall is just gonna be able to time it perfectly and just have him fall right into a punch, touch him up, put him out second round. So in this one, I have Tom Aspinall via second round TKO.